because these large mounds have always been a part of the landscape at LSU, they can be taken for granted. A sign tells you that these are Indian mounds, but a few tall tales say otherwise. Well, when I first got here in 1993, I was told in no uncertain terms that those mounds were back dirt from the excavation of the Huey Long Pool. Rebecca Saunders is curator of the LSU Museum of Natural Science. Over the last few decades, scientists have studied core samples from the mounds. In the 1980s, they were dated at 5,000 years old. Those were some of the first recognized early mounds in the U.S. The LSU mounds are a little bit older than some of the earliest pyramids. But as technology improved, the mounds aged even more. They are now among the oldest known man-made structures in the United States. With all the voodoo that we do with radiocarbon dates these days in terms of calibration, um, the 5,000-year-old date has now, is now a 6,000-year-old date. They were not burial mounds. They were more likely a gathering place. When they're building these mounds, essentially is saying, look, we're here, we were here, we are here, and we're going to be here in the future. This is from Test Pit 1. There are precious few artifacts from the LSU site. And we can tell how it was worked. Only tiny pieces of chipped stone. They're hitting the rock so hard that they're producing ripples in the stone, and you can see those. In recent years, the mounds have been fenced off on LSU game days to keep large groups of tailgaters off the fragile structures. What's happening here is that huge pieces of the mound are slipping down. Water is getting inside the mounds and it's collecting on um, little splits in the dirt. So it's creating a very slick surface and uh, dirt in front of that surface is calving off, just like an iceberg might calve off a glacier. The mounds are now getting more careful attention. For archaeologists, it's about saving an ancient piece of history, the remains of a lost culture with its own traditions that were formed 6,000 years before LSU. With the heart of Louisiana, Dave McNamara, Fox 8 News.